So, got the coffee brewing here, and um, I, when we first put out a call to see if anyone was interested in helping us out with our fort build, we keep getting this trickle of people coming, and I'd like to introduce Kevin Lozrate. Kevin, glad to have you here. I see. And uh, we're going to have a cup of coffee, and uh, then we're going to put you to work. <laughs> well, kind of liking this. <laughs> I'm becoming a good supervisor, actually. Um, so Lozerate, that doesn't sound like an Irish name to me. What's the kind of the background of your surname? No, it's, it's actually it's a German name. But if we go back to the time period that you're portraying, the mid-1750s, it was a Lithuanian name. Okay. And it was L Lazaritis, meaning son of Lazarus. And then as people moved throughout Europe, the names changed and evolved to the cultures they lived in. To Lozerate. To Lozerate, yes. Yeah. I should point out too that Kevin here is a, uh, a, a contractor, general contractor. So he, he's probably forgot more than I know about about building. So I can just sit back and let you do it all today. I'm thinking. Oh, sure. <laughs> but I'm used to supervising as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cup of coffee first. Yes. All right. Kevin, a tea to great camp coffee is to. Uh, First, it's got to be strong. You like the strong yeah. coffee, right? Yes. Okay, so that's number one. And then it has to spew out the spout three times. Not once, not twice, but three times. And th then it's done. And then you can move it off the fire. You can relax. But the last thing you do is you take a wee bit of cold water and you put a little splash in it and you let it sit for about 30 seconds. That'll settle some of the grounds. Mm. So, and if you want really good coffee, you start with green beans, grind them up in a in a dry frying pan, and then smash them up in a in a bag, leather bag, with your back your wraps. Yeah. Do you roast them too? Roast them, yeah. Yeah. roast them in the dry frying pan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we've got some treats that Kathy made for us today. Figure, figure if I get free help, I can at least feed you well. <laughs> kind of interesting to think that our, our ancestors were pretty smart, but when they arrived here in the New World, the one thing that was lacking in, in, in most parts of Europe at the time were resources. They denuded the place of trees, and they come here and there's this wealth of trees, and that's why the first structures obviously were log. Uh, they can kind of attribute that to the, the, the uh, Finland, Denmark people brought that kind of technology. Um, in fact, in Europe at the time, the only thing that they used for roofing was uh, slate or thatch. And now they've moved here. Well, they have lots of cedar, which we're using for our logs here. And so cedar shakes became the norm for covering all structures. Anyway, uh, I don't hear my worker working over there. What the heck? I'm not, either I'm not paying them enough or I'm paying them too much. I don't know, I'm not quite sure. <laughs>
Okay, this is kind of exciting because I've don't know how to tie a knot. <laughs> this is kind of exciting because I've delineated the perimeter of the fort. And now I get kind of a an idea or perspective of how big it's going to be and <laughs> how many logs I'm going to need. Take a walk around. So the far corner there, that this is probably my longest wall. Uh, of complete logs. Uh, so this is the south wall going down to the corner where the blockhouse will be. And uh, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of logs. So the raised uh, earth area you see down at the bottom of the trench here is uh, going to be the second blockhouse. And uh, we've, uh, full disclosure, uh, my friend Ryan, who has been a tremendous help in, in this, has come with a machine <laughs> that didn't exist in 1700. And God bless his soul. I mean, if I had uh, undertaken this by hand, um, well, <laughs> if I look at my birth certificate, there isn't, enough, <laughs> there isn't enough years left. So we have the entire perimeter of the fort as um, is trench now. We've got one corner post in. Uh, I've got a good start on um, the first blockhouse, thanks to my friend Kevin and his his fine contribution. And uh, yeah, it's going to come together. <laughs> it's actually starting to look like a fort. We've got a new mascot at uh, Kelly Station. We've got a barred owl over here. We we've decided to call him Fred, and he, he's sitting right over there on a, on a limb there. He. He fishes in our pond every day, and he gets minnows, frogs, I'm not sure what else, but we can walk right up to him. Been as close as, I don't know, three, three, four yards. Uh, and then he'll fly, but he'll only fly to the next limb. So, yep, we're calling him Fred, and he's our new mascot. Hi, Fred. Bye, Fred. <laughs> <laughs>